Have you been paying attention to your man? I hope so, because I've got a nice little trick for you. And I've already kind of told you this earlier on. Come through for me here. Here's an example of Teratom on SQL. It's got four credits now, four. Take a look at the SQL and tell me what the result is going to be. Did you nail it? I'm hoping so. It's going to be a null. We know that it's four credits. We've got ourselves a valued case statement because we're casing the credits. Is it one? New. Is it two? Uh-uh. Is it three? New. So it falls through. We don't have an else statement here. So it's going to return a null value. This is going to be a much easier quiz for you. I'll bet you do it in about 10 seconds. Here, we know it's four credits. Look at the case statement. What's going to come out in this answer set? What's the answer? You don't know. Oh, you mean don't know. Exactly. It's don't know because it fell through, but the else caught it. That's the safety net. I can't tell you how many times people go, look, it's either one credit, two credits, or three credits. Can't be anything else. And then there's no value in there, or it happens to be a four. That's why I like to always have an else statement so it catches any problems for me. And notice that pretty little apostrophe. That's two single quotes. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.